I'm Matthew Drutt, Executive Director of the Blue and Cultural Advisory Group, and we're coming to you from Chelsea, where there happen to be a number of great painting shows on view right now. We're going to look at three that I think are really exemplary. We're at Frederick Pfizer Gallery, uh, and they're hosting their first show of paintings by David Humphrey. Uh, but Humphrey is a veteran New York painter. He's shown in the city for over 20 years uh, and exhibited around the world. Uh, one of the things that I really like about his work is his uh, constant reinvention of his pictorial language. Uh, his facility with color and gesture uh, are really shown off in this exhibition. There are paintings uh, where there are passages uh, culled from uh, things like the internet, Facebook, uh, and magazines, uh, and layered in kind of abstract painting. And this oscillation uh, between realism and abstraction is something that plays really well in his work. We're at Marianne Boske Gallery looking at a show of work by Barnaby Furness. Uh, his work draws from uh, folklore, literature, uh, religion, uh, and is often uh, a hybrid of uh, kind of abstract approach uh, to painterly method, but also figuration. Uh, and it's that tension between figuration and abstraction that I think uh, plays so uh, well in his paintings. Uh, the current exhibition uh, mines uh, Herman Melville's Moby Dick and also the uh, story of Jonah and the Whale from the Bible. Uh, and so there are these fantastic, uh, kind of violent, uh, theatrical paintings of whaling. Um, I think they really show off uh, his facility with um, both a kind of painterly method, uh, as I said, that uh, is occasionally abstract. You can see where he's poured uh, the, the paint on the canvas and allowed it to roll down, uh, not necessarily in the direction that the painting's hanging. Uh, and then this kind of theatrical, a uh, fantastic subject matter that he's dealing with. We're at Barbara Gladstone Gallery in Chelsea uh, at a show of painting by Carol Dunham. Uh, this exhibition is exemplary of the evolution of his work from uh, a more abstract style uh, moving into figurative. His paintings are often very surreal in character, kind of fantastic uh, self-referential images. Uh, and this current body of work uh, has the appearance of taking us to the tropics uh, but if you look carefully at it, uh, they have all the elements of works uh, mined from the past. These turn eroticism into a kind of a caricature, uh, and they're sensuous as paintings, um, but the erotic element of the, the nudes themselves uh, don't manifest themselves in the same way as, say, a painting that's meant to be erotic. And there are these elements in the landscape uh, that appear both real and abstract, and it's this kind of oscillation between uh, abstraction and realism that's very uh, characteristic in Dunham's work, there, there are sometimes things uh, that are animated, inanimate objects. Uh, it's a really wonderful, colorful, uh, beautiful show.